Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another planning related video. This time I've got a bit of a haul for you guys, so a few things that I've gotten in the mail this week and then something that I picked up at the shops as well. So I'm just gonna jump straight in and show you. First thing I picked up were these stickers from Typo. So I'm gonna open them up. I haven't actually had a look at the other sheets that you can see in here. Ooh. Perfect. So you can see there's these round, like little label, like quote style stickers. I really like these colors, like the peachy tones with the black and the white, very much up my alley. I really like those. And then there are the two sheets here. So these are more of like a header style sticker. So lots of like to do, payday, remember, must do, things like that. And there's also um, lots of date covers as well. So there's the two full sets here of the Monday to Sunday. Then there's one here. This one, a little bit confusing. It only goes till Friday. Yeah, there's no Saturday, Sunday there. But still super cute. And I thought they would just be handy to fill in with other kits and because there was the black and white in there, I thought they would match quite well with a lot of other items that I use in my planner as well. So that is the first one. Next, I have a really exciting little package here. So this one is from Pomegranate Pins and Prints. Now I'm actually one of the PR like reps for Pomegranate Pins and Prints. I feel like I'm gonna say that wrong, it's a bit of a tongue twister. So this is my first ever pack from them this out here so you can see here there's a few samplers now this one here is my special sampler so I chose what was on this one here and if you mention Jess at checkout at their store you'll get one of these as well in addition to the regular sampler which is let me find it which is this one here so you'll get this one with every order and then if you mention Jess at checkout you'll get this one as well so you can see there's the cute little Cephi icons, there's a time to plan, and I've got a little planner icon there as well. So this one, I chose the color to be as close to the planner that I use, and I just thought it was a really cute little icon with the little like bow bookmark in there as well. You've also got some little like phone, iPhone icons, some coffee cups, and then these little like dots. I really like using these. I used to use the Studio Kylie ones, um, and I've still got a few left on some sheets of those, but unfortunately Studio Studio Kylie is no more, so definitely great to get some extra ones of these on these samples as well. Now, if you don't like, I don't know why you wouldn't, <laughs> but I, if you don't like my sampler, there's also some from the other reps in the store as well. So, I've got, sorry, I've got a huge stack of them here. So that's the regular one that you get. This one is, if you mention Celine, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. So this is the one Celine had put together. So this but first coffee one, that is so cute. And I like the little hearts as well. I've got, there's one on mine too. The little like nude color one. Um, but these are super cute. I like the colors of her little circle icons as well that she's chosen for her sampler as well. And then if you mention Lauren at checkout, you will get this sampler. So there's some really cute little baking icons. I really like the purples in here. There's some pink as well. Um, and you can see some little TVs and everything too. So. They're all really cute samplers, so it just depends on which one you like the most as to which name you should put in at checkout, but love them all. Then here you can see I've got a sheet of the little Sefi icon. So Sefi is the little, I guess like mascot or character for pomegranate pins and prints. So there's lots of different Sefi icons um, and there'll be lots more coming soon as well. So these are the reading ones. I thought that I could use these both for uni readings and then like fun reading. <laughs> so any books I've got um, that I want to get through as well. I really like the little ones where Sefi's hiding behind the books, but then there's some, these ones are a really good size. So just a really nice tiny reading icon as well. Super cute. Now this kit contains seven sheets. So it is a big one and I think I could definitely use it over at least two weeks, honestly. So here are all of the um, full boxes. So you've got some that have more of a pattern that just goes throughout and then the ones that just have essentially like the plain box with the decorative feature. So these are really handy if you still wanted to add something here, you could write straight on it or obviously add in some boxes over the top as well. I just really like the colors of this kit. I think it's really beautiful and very, very autumn, very fall. 
Then here we have the blank full boxes. Now, these ones are super nifty. So obviously you could use them as like a bigger version of a half box sticker and just write straight in them. However, there is also an option. Now let me find the checklist sheet. So here are all of your checklists. And then what you can actually do is layer those over the side of the full box and create your more like the, um, like the full box checklist sheets. So if you've seen a few of my other videos, you know, I don't really use those checkbox sheets. So having the option to like layer it over if you don't want as much white space, or you can just use the checklist on their own if you prefer writing directly on your inserts and your like planner pages. But the thing, the other thing that I really like about these is sometimes when you've got those um, checklists on the lines, you might not be able to fit everything. So if you are writing like a few lines for a to do, you can fit, still fit multiple things on there, but it's not going to like go a bit funny and like go over the lines. You don't have to cover it up with an icon or something like that as well. So definitely something that I personally haven't seen before. And I'm really excited to give a try when I use this kit in my spread as well. Going back to this one, you can see there's two weekly checklists, your weekend banner, some little TV icons and some decorative stickers as well. You've got your two habit trackers as well. So definitely all like usual stuff, but the fact that there's like two of these ones, again, just makes it easier to spread out over multiple weeks and spreads in your planner. This sheet here has some of their um, quarter boxes and like appointment labels. You've got two like washi, sh I was say washi strips, washi, washi strips I got there um, with their decorative like full box design and some script stickers here as well. Then here is your washi. So these ones are two, sorry, I'm just looking at it a bit closer. So you have the, um, the long one here and then this one has a small cut here. So it's like your extra little like buffer piece for the sidebar, I guess. And then lots of decorative stickers here as well. So what I was thinking is that with these blank boxes, if you look at like these ones here, you could really do something very similar by like kind of making your own full box with all of these decorative stickers as well. Just because there are so many in the kit, if you have maybe like a quieter week or something like that, and you want to put another full box, you could have maybe like half deco and then like right in the bottom as well. So I really like these. I'm very interested to see how they end up working for me in my planner. Then here we have all the date covers and then like washi strips and headers and things like that. There's a few more um, decorative stickers in here as well. So definitely... I love deco stickers, so the more the merrier, well, like the more the better. <laughs> um, and I do like that the date covers are all different colors, but they still tie into the kit. So you're able to have a bit more variety. Sometimes I find like if you have all the same color date covers and then maybe you're using like your headers and things like that, it can be like too much of the same color. So I like that there's that variety in there as well. And then this final kit has all of your icons at the bottom and then your half boxes. So some of them are decorative, obviously, and some of them are just plain. Plenty of little flags and some more of those little dots that I really like as well. Yes, definitely really like this kit. I really like the colors. I don't think these colors are something that I've really used in my planner before. So I'm definitely excited to see how I can use them in my planner and obviously try out this kit. All of these sheets are on like a really nice like premium matte paper and you can peel off the little like pomegranate pins and prints logo here as well. So that could be handy for like tracking orders or um, marking in new releases in your planner as well. And then finally, I have this order from Sabai & Co. I think I can open this nicely. So I was inspired to make an order um, from this store after watching one of um, Soraya G's um, Plan With Me videos. And she tends to purchase quite a bit like a la carte. So just certain sheets of stickers and use those in her planner, but she also is able to make it look like she's kind of got a whole kit. It always looks very cohesive. So it's a little bit inspired by her and grabbed a few sheets as well, but it looks like there are quite a few freebies in here too. So we'll go through those first. So here is just a little loyalty card. So you collect all these little heart stickers, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, are these little hearts here. So for each sheet you can, yeah, each sheet has these little hearts that you can stick on your um, little loyalty card. And I think that's a really good way of doing the um, loyalty program because usually it's every order. But maybe if you have a really big order versus only getting like the one sticker, you can get quite a few and fill up your card a bit faster as well. So definitely 
definitely a good idea in my books. Then this is a die cut here just of the four girls, all with different coloured cute hair. That purple hair is so cute. Then this one has a little sloth on like a little island and everything as well. You can also take off the Sabai & Co icon there as well. These are super cute. And then these ones, I really like these ones. The little um, lemons. And you'll see they'll match really well with some of the pages that I purchased in here as well. These are super cute. I love like little icons. They're my favourite. Beautiful. So, oh, there is also this journaling card as well. So, just a really nice like girl at her desk and with a little thank you note on the back. Super cute. Now, for my actual order, I'm just going to divvy it up because I did buy a few like kit pages a la carte. So, I'm just going to make sure they're all together. Okay, so first I purchased this like bee honeycomb one. Now I really like these um, date covers here. I think they're a lot more, oh, you can see, like a lot more decorative than your regular regular date covers that you would get in a kit that are usually like just the blocked out, maybe like a paint stroke or something like that. And I think that will just add a lot to the spread without having to use the entire kit. And there's also lots of um, decorative stickers, your date covers and a few scripts on here. So I just think the format of these kits for me makes it really easy to buy them a la carte because you get quite a lot on the one page like the date covers deco and some scripts versus maybe having the date covers on one page and the deco with some other things i just really like the way they're laid out in terms of just purchasing a few sheets then i also purchased this sheet which has got your quarter boxes half boxes some little um checklists and build you and then these like scalloped checklists as well which will be um quite easy to cut down if you don't want to use the full length too and they've just got a few that have the like bee and honeycomb designs throughout as well. So I figured I am pretty likely to be able to make like a cute little like bee spread just with these two sheets. Well, I'm hoping anyway. Next up, I just purchased the one sheet. So this has some really beautiful flowers. Sorry, I'm not good with knowing the names of flowers. I feel like everyone else that makes these videos always knows like, it's like, oh, it's a, a peony or a rose or something like that. I'm sorry. That's not me. Um, it's got the cute decorative date covers again. I think I'm just really drawn to these and then having the deco throughout, you'd be able to like add these really nice, um, the soft colors throughout your whole spread. If you're having maybe some paler colors or even if it was honestly like a gray and white, like more monochromatic spread and you could just add these pops of color as well. And then finally, this one's probably my favorite. So you can see what I mean as it will match the little sampler sheet with the lemons as well. So this one, again, I got the date and deco sheet. I also got the bottom washi and washi strips as well. Whoops, it goes that way. Then I also got the same sheet as like the B set. So I got the one with the half boxes, the scallop checklist, the quarter boxes, and then the little um, like three heart checklists and a few of the bilgeries as well. Super cute. I'm really happy with all of those orders. This Sabai Co one, um, I believe the store is located in Canada, so the shipping did take a bit longer than obviously if you're ordering from an Australian store. But to be honest, I feel like shipping can sometimes take forever, even like honestly, even from Queensland. Um, I'm in Melbourne, so I feel like getting here from Queensland can usually take sometimes up to two weeks as well. But yeah, that's my little shipping rant over. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you liked these items that I pick up. Let me know which ones are your favourite and what you'd like to see in an upcoming Plan With Me video. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!